Okay, make certain this is all cut. Okay, all of it, all of it, start to finish. Cut, you, delete. You gotta talk to Petey about that. Uh, no, no, you make certain it's done since you're giving it to Petey. Okay, cut, cut, all of it, cut. I think I need to go in there and cut right now. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Gathered together from the cosmic reaches of the universe. Here in this great hall of justice are the most powerful forces of good ever assembled. Dedicated to truth, justice, and peace for all mankind. Welcome right Valley Spinnerack is back. Once again, we have Superstar down here with the crew. We got Cal. And PD unfortunately got picked up again, so well, we'll miss him, but we we we'll send our um, bail money later on. Listen, guys, Splash is coming back out. The question is, is it going to be good? You know, you said Splash, right? I thought I said Splash. You said Splash. That's Splash. No, you said Splash. Okay, continuing on. <coughs> is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? What do you think about that superstar? Give us your heads up on this. I I think it's gonna. Um have um, a big plot to it, like season three. I think um, it'll have a lot to do with season one, the night where the reverse Flash came back to kill Barry, but he killed Barry's mother because Barry stopped him. I think that um, in some way DeVoe sent the reverse Flash to go back because he would know that the reverse Flash would get stuck and set the particle accelerator off in the wrong way so that his thinking cap would be powered. I also think that um, DeVoe's wife will be like the actual main villain. Maybe she has some ev elaborate plan. To, so like after DeVoe, DeVoe's cells run out and die, she'll, she'll somehow take over and retain all of DeVoe's knowledge. Interesting, interesting. What about you, Cal? What do you think about this whole DeVoe body flipping Oh, I want to know how many times he's going to switch bodies. I doubt this is going to be the last time. So how many actors? Well, that's some meta discussion over there as to how many actors were contracted. But since he's done it once, I figure he'll probably body hop, and that'll keep the Flash chasing after him for the majority of the season. And then he's going to have to try to localize him in one body, which might mean the Flash actually has to kill him in order to be done with this particular villain. Wow. Killing. I don't know. I think that's against the Flash's... Uh uh, moral code. Mm -hmm. Not know? the reverse flash. <laughs> but, you know, I kind of agree with both of you there. I think that um, you have a very interesting theory that the whole, he came back, this whole thing started up because of um, what happened with the reverse flash and the, the, the particle accelerator. But I still don't understand why, why he's coming after Barry. Why did he set up those metahumans with those specific powers to get those specific powers when Barry came back from... Um, the Speed Force. That to me is the biggest link. If they can't pull this off, then it's going to be a, a flat season. Okay, I really like the Flash, but we've seen what's happened when they've done um, the the, the what's, the name, what's the name of the guy, the Black Flash. What do they call him? The Zoom. Zoom. You know, I mean, you're like, come on, that was like, ugh, that that when that occurred, and right. then Savitar, that was that. Like, so the question is whether this time they can be much more convincing with the vote. Convincing in terms of what? Convincing is that they. It, 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 the end of the season is, is fulfilling. I thought the Savitar storyline was not at the very end a fulfilling storyline. You know, I mean, I know they're gonna, I'm going to get a lot of e emails. We're going to get a lot of comments about that crap. But it wasn't. Yeah, starting right here. You know what, what are you talking about? It was a know? good season. Uh, I didn't think so, man. The, they, how many speedsters do they have? The good thing is now they've broken the Okay, the same thing as okay. before. They okay, you don't like life. Wally West. We get it. You've said it more than once. <sighs> He's coming back to the show. Put your hate to the side. Stop it. I do not dislike Wally West. Yes, you do. I think um, that DeVoe's coming after Barry because, like in season two, um, Zoom was dying, so he, ca so he came after Barry, tried to extract his speed force, and it saved him from dying. DeVoe is also dying the same way Zoom was because he tried to push his, bod his body B b sorry, b bodily limits to where he couldn't go. So I think he's going to try to extract Barry's speed force completely this time and save himself from dying, also making him the fastest mind and man alive. 
I like that theory. I or, like the theory. Or he'll try to put himself into Barry's body. That might be that, that might be the end. That might be the end thing that we're looking at. That he finally captures Barry and says, "Hey, well, I don't need to steal your speed, steal your body altogether," and, and he'll and he'll get Iris. You know, say, "Hey, well, he already has a wife. Why would he need Iris? Yeah, I have two. He's the fastest man alive." <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, but then that would explain why he has the meta humans. He brought those meta humans out to help mm -hmm. him out. You know, they have very very distinct powers. You know, we, the people that they got from the bus, and. I mean, you got the plastic, plastic man. We have the guy who elongated can, man. Elongated man. The guy who can um, can change um, his his eye can change uh, can can cause what do you call that? It's, it's a very valuable substance. Remember the guy who, who they kept him. The the tears. The tear like guy. Yeah. Oh him. We know why we got the other guy, the brother, because you know he could you know use it to read minds and stuff. But the question is. He had to have had a plan for the other guys who Barry had captured, like the girl who, who, when she got emotional, she was able to control the emotions of people around her. Well, the from, what, um, from our discussion right now, I'm thinking future bodies. You well, think future bodies? I'm thinking that it's a plan in order for him to capture um, Flash. I like that idea with Flash. Capture Flash somehow and take over his body. Well, I don't <laughs> think he has the power to take over anyone's body because ori originally he was in the body that he jumps to and then the thinking cap. Um, degrade his cells and made and gave us his other form of a body so maybe it's only those two bodies maybe he doesn't actually have the power to l j go into other bodies maybe it's maybe it's the deformed body and his old body and the new one yes interesting thought interesting thought you know well, also this series this um season what do you guys think you think they're going to bring up more of some of the other supporting characters like vibe and killer frost i thought killer frost did a pretty good job last uh, last season and so did um the plastic man elongated man you know they did a pretty good job but it, it pushes you say last season you mean the first half of the, the season. first half of the okay. season right but what happens is it pushes down like like characters like vibe you know like harrison wells we don't really get to see some of these other characters. Well, they're suffering from, I think, the same thing Vikings are suffering from. We have too many characters. Okay, we, well, let's, let's, let's count it off from the top. We have our lead star and favorite character, Barry Allen, Iris West, Joe West, Cisco, Caitlin. Now, that's pretty much your core characters over core there. Characters. Then you got to throw in whoever the villain is. You got DeVoe. Okay, we've got everybody's favorite character except for you, Wally West. <laughs> okay. Who else, we that who else are we throwing in? Joe's girl. We got Joe's girlfriend. Okay. And, and her baby. Okay. Oh, goodness. We got to throw the baby in, too? Why the baby? No, that's one, too. Actually, the, the baby um, may may grow to be one of our future um, speedsters, like the, tor like the Tornado Twins or Daniel West. I, I would like to see that happen. Okay. Wait, so what? The West family has all the, uh, or, the, the speedster genes in them? Or Pretty much, yeah. Or the baby <laughs> would die. I don't think they're going to do that. So, that they're not going to let the so, Someone's going to die at the end of the season. In, in childbirth, maybe. She's a little old. Or probably that he's going so fast in yellow. <laughs> Something happens to him. Oh, but we're looking at nine characters right there. That's yeah. just, you know, I didn't, you didn't, know, I didn't say DeVoe's wife. <laughs> you know, so that's nine characters right there. And there's still more characters. I didn't say the elongated man. There's all these people that you're adding. And then after a while, it becomes this really big juggling act. And... I mean, even in, even, even, even as a comic book reader, even like the teen books, they, they cap the number, you know, at a certain point because it becomes really difficult to handle these ensemble pieces unless you're somebody who just likes doing it and then like a Josh Whedon type guy. And then you're like, OK, fine. You know where everybody needs to come in, how much light everybody should get and you should be OK with it. But here, yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of characters, but I, I'm enjoying the season. I'm enjoying the season mostly because the villain is not a speedster. So after three seasons of Speedsters, this I like as a as a change of pace. I like the fact that Barry didn't run when he got when the uh, obviously when Devoe trapped him with you know being a murderer, he didn't run. He's going to sort the whole thing out. So I want to see that, and I like the fact that this isn't something that it's, his speed may be a part of it, but he's going to have to solve this by being faster than Devoe and thought. Because right. Devoe's been several steps ahead, he's going to have to get up to speed in terms of beating him. And that I agree with you, but my biggest problem already is that I didn't want to bring that elephant in. But he did not have to get captured. Understand? He could have outthought, he could have changed, he could have, he's a speedster, so he literally could have moved everything out of there, all the evidence, put it somewhere else, right? Mm -hmm. 
and he would have been a cra- uh, an innocent man. But he still has to deal with it. But he wouldn't have to. That's what I'm trying to say. He's a speedster. The cops are at the door. He doesn't know what DeVoe's after, what his plan is. The, the well, only way he's going to find the only way he's going to find out is he's going to have to right go with the flow of these particular events. He's been trying to stave stuff off. And let's say he did that. Okay, he moves the body. He was, there's no telling if DeVoe had a failsafe for that. There's no telling what DeVoe has a failsafe for. So everything, he, all of this has been DeVoe's plan, and he doesn't know what the plan is. He's going to have to surrender. He's going to have to submit and to try to understand what this plan is. Because other than that, DeVoe's always going to be ahead of him. You know, DeVoe's going to think about it. Okay, he's, the body's here. What if Barry tries to do that? Well, if he tries to move it, this is what's going to happen. This is what's going to happen. He's going to have to say, okay, I have to try to get some understanding of what this guy is trying to do. Then I can actually think out of the box a little bit in towards getting him. But he Other ultimately he falls into the plan. He's now off the chest. He's off the board. And that's what DeVoe wants him. He's off the no, board. No, he's still on the board. He's still on the board. But he is in jail. Now, whatever is coming down the pipe, you know, you have Cisco, you have um, Killer Frost, and he must have a plan for them. You know, there's something that he wants to happen. But he wants it from way. Barry. And Barry needs to understand. So taking off the board allows him the time to understand. He's fine. You're going to jump in or not? I don't think that Barry or any metahuman, Caitlin, Cisco, can like help in almost any way to help stop DeVoe. Because it, in the last episode, Cisco tried to vibe him. It didn't work. And like we, are, we already have Caitlin's gang of enemies. Barry can't use his speed for anything against DeVoe because he DeVoe, maybe DeVoe has this connection from the future because Abracadabra, he, he mentioned DeVoe, he's from the future, R- the reverse flash, same thing. But like if he, if he can like, like just cancel out Barry's speed like in the Don't Run episode, then I don't think uh, there's anything Barry can do because DeVoe has the superior mind unless he recreates what happened to DeVoe and like makes it happen to himself, which I doubt that would happen because then he would start dying as well. And I don't think he's willing to kill anyone for it. Well, that's, that's interesting, but you know, I, I'm glad you brought that up because it, you have these future villains that come back and they say what? Barry's greatest foe is who? DeVoe. His greatest threat is DeVoe. But it shows the very fact that that was his greatest threat, that he must have overcome it somehow in order to defeat Buvo. You know, so Barry, why doesn't he just run to the future, talk to a future self, and say, hey, how do I beat the bow? And come right back. Do you, do you enjoy this show or not? It's like you wanted to be over in the first episode. I wanted to be over, but... DeVoe's my greatest enemy. When do you use God comes from? 2037? Okay, I'm going to run to 2038, to find out how all this happened, it. and then come right back, which is how we got Flashpoint! Okay, you can't mess around with this stuff. We've already been through that. You can't go back and well, start changing stuff. Let's not talk you about have Flash to go Point. through. It. Let's not talk I about think Flash he. I, I think he's gonna kill him because, at, like every time he had a villain. You think Barry's gonna kill Devote? No yeah. way. Okay. Because I think every time that he that he came this close to the villain, he was about to kill him. Then he got lucky. Savitar, Iris killed him. Zoom, the, he had the time remnants. The the reverse Flash, he should let him go. I I I I don't think he's gonna get lucky anymore. Wow. Or well, Wally will kill him. <laughs> we need Wally. We don't need Wally. We don't. Need, Wally needs to go over to the Titans. So, gentlemen, what do you hear about this new Titans show? Have you guys been hearing about this whole thing? DC setting up its own streaming service. We're not talking uh, about the Flash anymore. I thought we wrapped it up. You didn't say spin work out. No, I, I figured it's part of the whole. Since we segueing back into. Our boy Wally again and again and again. Let's talk no, about, we're about Wally on the show. Okay, I think if we get rid of some of this extra weight, like uh, Joe's girlfriend, Wally. the elongated man. I like the elongated man. He's the funniest no. character there. Get rid of these cats. Get him his own show. Okay, yeah. and then we get Wally back. Okay, we could actually get some good stuff. I like Wally. No, we need to bring Wally. Needs to be like your age. Okay, that's uh, what that, that would that, be cool if they actually had a kid flash who was a kid. Exactly. That would be fine. But then you're like, okay. Then they can explain sometimes why there's some um, why he can't do certain things the Flash can do. You know, right now you have Wally, who supposedly has been the Kid Flash for how long, and yet he can't do some of the things. The he Flash hasn't been Kid Flash that long. It's about at least a year, two seasons now, a season at least. Right? I'm just saying he's just not up to Barry the Barry himself couldn't do things, and then he's gotten progressively better over the course but of seasons. He's being taught by the Flash. 
We don't need Kid Flash. The Flash himself is still learning. He can only teach what he knows, and he's still learning. All I'm saying is... Your bias know. against Wally is so thick, man. What bias? There's no bias. It's like I, this thick. I'm saying... It's like Kid just Flash like, you know, should be a kid. Guy. It's like Amish. And it's like the Amish churning butter or something. That's how thick it is. It's oh like homemade butter. Come on. If so. Kid Flash was a kid, then what would he do? He, he, he he'll be like a sidekick. He'll be like a Robin or something. Like yeah, that. and you'd want to get rid of him. He'd get <laughs> killed. No, he wouldn't. They will never kill Robin or Kid Flash. No, no, no. Say, say it. They killed Robin on a show. On a show. They'll on a kill show. him on the show. They will. No, They'll say, get a 900 number. Say an 11 year old Kid Flash just runs up to the Devo. He gets killed. What, what's he going to do? Yep, and then he's got to run back in time to try to stop the whole thing. And where are we? Flashpoint. Okay, Barry's like. Tw <sighs> you and Flashpoint. Ba man. Barry's 26. And he and it takes him a, a whole about it takes him about a whole year to just figure out how to get rid of one villain. So how, so what so what's an eleven year old gonna do? Well, no. Well, what I'm saying is that the eleven year old will then it will explain why the eleven year old can't do certain things. You know, look, Barry isn't there. And easier to get rid of him, right? Barry isn't there. But we can't have Clint Flash doesn't seem to be up to the job. Just no huge villains. Just handling the city on his own. You know. So if he's not up to the job. And he's... A, if he's, he's up to the job, we don't need The Flash anymore. And it's The Flash's show. So we have to show Wally going through the maturation process. That's out, you know, that's, you know, that's not necessarily in, in story. It's definitely metatextual at the end of the day. But that's what it is what it is. Because if Cisco... Look, Cisco's had his powers longer than Wally. He can't do it. Okay, so hey, it's The Flash's show. They have to work together. And like Iris said... We are the flat. I hated that line. I really hated that you're line. You're quoting it right now. I Why? Hated that line. Why? No, I was quoting that line to be ridiculous at this okay. point. Okay, but it's the Flash's show. He's the guy. That's just the way that it is. Are you down with that superstar? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The other guys can make all the mistakes. They don't have to get up to speed 100. percent Why? Because they got the Flash. It's like all those guys on the it's Justice Team League. Flash. They know they can do stuff because Superman's got their back. So they can take a little bit of extra risk because if they fall, and they're falling. I'm falling. And I'm falling. But Superman's going to come. And catch it I got you. No the problem. These oh, guys, Batman this guy get, get in trouble. Now, guys. Oh, yeah. Um, I've, I've been, like, what if Barry goes to Supergirl's Earth? Because there's Supergirl and Superman on the same Earth. Right. So there has to be, like, the rest of the Justice League there. So why doesn't he just, uh, hey, help me out with this? They all, they all come over, sh get like do what they have to do, and go back, and that's it. Because that makes too much sense. Stop making sense. There's nothing wrong with that. This is fiction. It makes perfect Stop sense. Stop making sense, it's or you can't come back science here. science fiction. Hey, hey. It's, thank you. It is, makes perfect sense. He doesn't need ha help with the vote. He can call for pe people to help him out. Excellent, bro. And, and it's just a theory. If that happens, the show will be all of 15 minutes long. It would force the writers to then write something a little bit more. They're not going to write anything. You know, you know. Look, I like the show. It's entertaining. You know, I've just had a couple of little problems, and I don't want to keep bashing them because you guys keep But you're going to keep doing it. <laughs> you know, I like the actor who plays um, the yellow dude, you know. But hey, you know what I'm trying to say? Kid well, Flash. He's not a kid. He's not a kid. We need to call him something else. Teenage right? Flash. He's not even a teenager. He's a college student Flash or something like that. Slightly adult Flash. <laughs> young, what? Young adult Flash? <laughs> why? No, it can't be why. Millennial Flash. <laughs> Actually, um, it, in the book about DeVoe and the Flash written by Jeff Johns, it sh like on the cover, it shows us the Flash like thinking and all the wires connected to his head. So maybe DeVoe actually could jump into his body but what but what if say barry did go call the justice league or who or whoever he needs to and comes over what if devos jumps into say superman's body oh. like like see that see there's your not sense you wouldn't like that would you but then that's an interesting thing then that would be the plan like you said he's thinking one step ahead he's calling for help he comes over with some dudes like Superman. He takes over Superman. As he and if DeVoe's already is. thought of this, he's now going to take Superman's body and nobody's going to be able to stop him. Okay. All right. So you got to let things play out. There's a reason why The Flash is the lead on the show. Okay. I, I've, I've been convinced by you guys. I think Cisco's you know, a little But you haven't convinced me about it. Yeah, Cisco's cool. Yeah. He's, he's not serious, still powerful, and... With or without its powers, it could still kick butt. 
Yeah. And he's less tragic than Barry. Barry's yeah, like, well, more. Well, they played him tragic last season when it, his it, brother no, lost yeah. and he was upset. That, that, that was, like, oh, it, that was like for two episodes. I no, was like, no, oh, my brother died. I don't right. trust you, Barry. And Barry's about to die. Here you go. Okay, yeah. let's I always wonder why again. they get so upset at each other if they're going to forgive each other anyway. They get, I mean, they get upset like they're never going to be friends again. Like, you know, I'm not talking to you and I'm not doing this and I'm not doing that. And then, like, literally, like, four, like three episodes later, you know, they're talking again. It's, it's like, so why are you going to get that? It's literally, it's like breaking up. It's like with your girlfriend or something. I'm never speaking to you again. Why? Because these are the wrong, this is the wrong flavor of chocolate. You know, I don't like this. This is the wrong flavor of chocolate. Why are you going to get so angry if you're going to forgive me anyway? Just take, just say, hey, look, I just need a little bit of time, you know, to myself. I don't see you for an episode, and then you come back, and everything's hunky-dory, everything's spiffy. It's cool. Nope. Got to do everything the... The hard way. Yeah, well, I was going to say something else, but... I know, that's why I try to preempt. Did any of you notice how, like, Iris, like, mourned to Eddie for, like, season two, and, like, now, season three and four, no one cares about him? No, he's dead. He's gone. <laughs> she's married to a whole new guy. He's, she's a whole Eddie! Guy. I but miss I, I you! I wouldn't be surprised if Eddie comes Eddie, back. Eddie! Eddie! He did! <laughs> <laughs> and he's dead. It's, it's done. <laughs> okay, guys. So have we covered this whole flash? Why would they choose Eddie if, he, if they're just going to kill him? Someone had to die the first time. Like it's like relevant, 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 irrelevant. Well, with the, with the flash, you can always come back. Remember? You know? No, you can't. Of course you can. If the flash gets killed, that's it. Then another version of the Flash will come back. Look what happened to um, Reverse Flash. We thought he died, right? Mm -hmm. and then oh, he yeah. Came back. Kid, kid Flash will take over. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah, Reverse Flash was only able to come back because he was still part of that time loop, so he had to come through right. it. Anyway. I'm saying they'll always explain something. Probably there's a remnant of Barry in the Speed Force if something goes wrong. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. He's not going to go. He's going to come back. Oh, I'm glad I'm you're not one of the writers on the show because you kill off Wally, Wa Wally West yeah, and Black you? Lives Matter. Oh, my gosh. We're going to end it there. Spirak, out. out. Hey, continue the whole Flash thing. Do you, what do you guys think about um, that whole Titan? The very fact that DC is developing the whole Titan show and it's going to be developed on, yeah. a, on, a, on a streaming service separate from... Um, there was a Titan reference. I don't know, because now they're also doing the, um, one of our favorite comics, the, the cartoons that was on Netflix. They, they, I think they also want to put that also... Mm -hmm. Young Justice? Young Justice. Yeah, they want to put it on their own. Because everybody, nope, everybody, they're looking at Netflix and they're saying, hey, these guys are paving the way. They're, they're posting other people's shows, but they're also doing their own original content. And then Warner Brothers has to look at this and say, hey, where's our stuff? We can do the same thing. So you have to start putting your own shows there. You have to start showing your own original content. If not, you're just paying, you know, you're giving money to Netflix at the end of the day. Netflix, if they keep this up, Netflix will have all these other shows that don't have the money to do with like Warner Brothers or Disney could actually do. And they'll be making their own original stuff. Look at, uh, what was that film? What was it, Bright? Bright. That thing got panned. It did well. It, it was did. panned by all these critics. They were like, this, that, and the other. Netflix already greenlit it for a second okay. for a second film. Why? Because of the views. And they were like, okay, we've got how many people watching this? N 9 million, 13 million people watching this. Came to view this? Yeah, we're doing more. <laughs> we're doing more. Are we still recording? Yeah. Oh, okay. So... <laughs> So, I mean, what we're basically saying, though, is that... He said spin a rack out. But then I started with the Titans thing. But look, what I'm saying here is that um, what do you think about the, the fact... The problem that I have with this is that, you know, we're developing a whole system where everything is a la carte, where you choose what you want to watch, right? On whatever channel you want to watch. But we already have a lot of the, 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 the channels there already. They're just... It's called cable, you know? And if you choose... If you buy cable... I'm not an apologist for cable. But what I'm telling you is going to end up happening is that you're going to be paying far more for far less channels going this route, you know, as opposed to DC putting it on a um, on Mar um, Warner Brothers putting it on a DC channel on cable, which is much more affordable, and much um, is a larger package. You're going to be getting nickel and dime for every single station. Well, they started this years ago. I mean, I mean what what channel wh when you want to watch a show, where do you go most? Where do you go for the most part? Netflix. Yeah. Okay, they started with, you see what Netflix, they started this years ago because, remember, growing up, cartoons, they were all on, you know, all on your, your regular, your standard so primetime channels. And, they moved and then the on the day. weekends, like, oh, it was like, you know, after school, and then on the weekends, you could see, car you know, you could see cartoons, no problem. Then they did something different because it was Justice League. And when Justice League came out, you couldn't see Justice League on a regular channel. You had to have cable to see Justice exactly. League. Exactly. Okay. I remember that was one of the reasons I ended up getting cable at that point. I was like, well, look, I want to watch Justice League. Other than that, you could not see it. And that right over there. And then, and then they did the same thing again, where certain cartoons were on Cartoon Network. 
But then Warner Brothers said, no, no, you can't see Looney Tunes on Cartoon Network. That's strictly going to be on Turner, you know, this yeah. type of stuff. So everybody started doing that. Then they released the reins because they were like, look, nobody's coming and watching this stuff over here anyway. So we're going to bring it back. We're going to bring it back here. Now they're doing it again. But, I mean, the, the model that Netflix is showing is one that's like, I, I'm looking at it and say, okay, where's the weakness in this particular model? I don't see it, at least not right now. Well, remember the whole thing with Netflix. I don't know if you guys remember it. with Netflix. They, they went against this goes back a long time, guys. But Blockbuster, you know, Blockbuster could have bought Netflix when it was in its infancy. But what happened is Netflix basically just sent the DVDs to people, physical DVDs to look, because what the movie company is like, who's gonna, uh, who's gonna want to send this over the, the the mail or whatever? Blockbuster has this market on lock, and you know, we'll we'll give it to you. So, but guess what? People liked it. They liked the fact that they could get a DVD, hold on to it for however long they want, and then return it back. And so. But then they started doing, hey, why don't instead of doing this, why don't we also do the streaming part of it? And it blew up. Yeah. And now what happened is now you don't see first run movies on Netflix anymore because most of the movie most of the, the movie companies are like, whoa, these rights are really valuable. We're gonna start putting it in different places. Netflix is more. running out of good content. But that's why they started developing their regular T V content. Uh, that's why they took over the they started getting T V so they can do better and then they start doing their own movies like Bright. And they have. They have the Netflix. They have the Crown. Crown It's a huge thing. you know. If you want to watch that. But I mean, for that market, it's huge. No, you're right. Because you can get, literally, I think in about a week, two weeks' time, you can see anything that you're really interested in on Netflix. And then, like, okay, what else is there? But they and then they'll give you these month. others. Hmm? Every month they come out with stuff. Yeah, it doesn't mean you want to watch it. <laughs> right, but they have a lot of things that come out. Yeah, know? like, if you're watching the series, you're, like, you're really loving it, you, you find out, like, oh, no, I'm on the last episode. What do I watch next? <laughs> I, after, after it's over, like... I know. Yeah, it's like you're enjoying Daredevil. Okay, you, you watch the first season, second season, third season. Okay, you're like, all right, I would like to see more stuff in this particular vein. You, you go through something else. You go Jessica Jones. You're like, oh, wow, that sucked. Okay, Luke Cage. This isn't Daredevil. Then maybe you're lucky and you get to the Defenders. You're like, okay, this is a little bit more in that vein. But eventually it's over. And you can binge watch very quickly. Okay, you can binge watch very quickly. You get enough. T you you only need a weekend. You can get through a whole bunch of stuff very quickly. I only need a day. Okay, then. Man, you guys are powerful. I couldn't do binge watching. Hey, like as long as it, look, I've, I had to do work, and you just put it on in the back. You just put it on in the background. You pay attention. You can pay nominal attention to most of these shows. You know, it doesn't require. It's not The Godfather where you really need to sit and pay attention. Most of these things you can listen to it like it's a radio program, you know, from you know from earlier or back in the days they would say, and you can and you're fine. So then it becomes all right. Got to have the you know we got to have. It's the same thing we're doing with our show. You got to have the content. Okay, got to have the content for the people who are looking for this particular stuff. Now, these other guys are like, hey, before Netflix has the, the, the final say and the dominant hand on here, we got to try to build up our own base, try to make some things exclusive. CBS did that with Star Trek. I haven't seen but, but one single episode. Me too. Okay, if they do the same route with these other things, I'm probably not going to watch it because I don't, what, here's the thing with Netflix. I don't, Netflix has a smorgasbord. A nice buffet of things to offer. I may not have anything afterwards, but I know they'll put something there eventually later when I come back. These other things, I'm just going there for one show. I'm just going there for one show. Well, that's so what the DC is doing. They're doing the um, they're doing the Titans and they're doing Young Justice and supposedly other shows. You know, but look, I, I think the difference though with Netflix though is that Netflix is at least catering to the the viewers. What do they want to see, right? Whereas, you know, the movie companies who have all this content, they're giving us crap. I don't want to say Star Wars is crap, but you know. The audience has already spoken. You know, I don't want to say um, you spoke. <laughs> I only watch Netflix because it has a multitasking ability, so I can like, like make make like it smaller. Yep, exactly. And then just play like, like whatever game. So. Yeah. So I mean that's that's a yeah you can't do that I, I I try to do that with YouTube let me just uh, you know minimize so I can do something else no YouTube yeah, just shuts it down well they want you to get the YouTube red so that you're paying another what twenty five or thirty five dollars a month well since that's yeah. not gonna happen you know YouTube red still can't do that you you can hear it but you can't see it it's possible but I'm just saying but this is what I'm talking about the nickel and dime you are going YouTube red is what twenty five thirty five dollars Netflix is what eleven twelve dollars. Um, DC, they haven't priced theirs, is going to be something. That's if you're foolish enough to pay for all this stuff. We should have a Netflix show. See, if you wait long enough, everything is for free. 
on the internet. And we believe in creators and we believe in paying creators for what they do because we want creators to continue to create. So we do not subscribe to the model of trying to get stuff this for free. I'm paying I'm for creator. my internet access. And if my internet access allows me to do a search and find something that happens to be viewable and for free, no. I have paid. Well, you just remember that when you become a creator and you're trying to sell something and people start pirating your stuff, then you're going to come back and say, Where's my money? No, my yeah. overhead is very low, so right now you can pirate. So pretty soon I'll still be, I'll money. still be, I'll still be fine. You know what sucks? If like there's this movie you want to watch, but you can't like find it on TV, so you go to YouTube and like you have to pay for it. There's always like the second or third video that shows it. It's so, like you go to watch it five minutes later, YouTube shuts it down because like they want you to pay money. Yeah, because the creator should get something. It costs money to make. With the creator, if we all take free stuff all the time, then guess what's happening? Then the creators can't support. I don't want free stuff. I'm but not asking for free oranges. I mean, I want free entertainment. Back in the nineties, free the oranges are still fine. Back in the nineties, the um, the movie industry in Hong Kong was totally wiped out by pirates. You know, they finally come back because they've been able to get control of that. But it was wiped out practically. You know, and Hong Kong was one of the most prolific. Um, oh, film in Hong Kong. It's not the point. The point is, just, is just as a movie. Are, are, are we in Hong Kong? We believe in creative. I like some of their movies. I, I like someone I, who's reasonable. Are we in Hong Kong? No. Then I don't care. But if we like the stuff that they do, you know, this is what I'm trying to say. If we like the stuff that people do, we should support them. However, I right. am supporting you. I'm viewing it. <laughs> Ugh, You'd uh, rather me just pay for something? If I paid for it and I didn't look at it, would you refund the money? No. I'm looking at it. So are you going to look at it, like it, and then pay them? What? I, I'm paying for the internet access. But that's not going That's to not fair. That's a double dip, okay? That's double jeopardy. No, because the, 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 the cable companies have to develop uh, a pipeline to get you that information. There's an infrastructure that you have to pay for. The problem that we, you millennials have, okay, is that you guys think these things are for free. When, when you have a Netflix account, those are your parents' Netflix account, and they're the ones paying for it, and you're giving it for free, and you're passing those codes on to your buddies. That is not cool, all right? You know? Pay, if you actually paid for Netflix, YouTube Red, um, the DC channel, ESPN, guess what? It's going to probably be more than you were paying for cable in the first place. Okay, you sound like Uncle Grandpa. Okay, but Superstar and I, we're cool. We understand <laughs> what the situation is. Pound it out. You got anything else to say? <laughs> All right. Down with these doggone streaming services. Bring it back to cable. That's what I'm saying. And keep the prices low for the folks. You know, the only reason people are going to streaming services is because you guys overpriced and over gouged them. That's all I got to say. Yeah, spin it right out. Spin it right out.